Well, I understand that you disagree with that. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't. It's not right me that disagree. disagrees with it. It's the Florida state statutes that disagree with it. I'm not claiming to be a legislator, and I'm not claiming any authority that I don't have. Because mm -hmm. we're literally not going to move this car all day or tomorrow or the next day. This, this is where we want to go. You see, the, the next morning, how are you hauling? I've got, who is this? Uh, German? Sergeant German, ID 2898. How's it going? I was told that you had an issue with this patrol car being parked here. Correct, yes. Um, it's parked literally right in front of a no parking zone. See, the reason Sorry. this deputy parks is... I already, I've already heard the spiel. That it, it creates a presence to let people know that it's safe, blah, 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 blah. Wonderful. I've already talked with Sergeant Walters at the PRB. He said that they're not allowed to do so. However, Sergeant Less is saying his supervisor has allowed him to park there. However, it's against policy 10 or is o dash 10.1 um hello yes uh, can, can you spell that uh, the officer's name who you think uh, the car belongs to Who's yeah that? it's lusk right a dispatch huh no this is uh i'm sorry what was, who is this again lieutenant Mulholland. Mulholland. hey sir how you doing it's tatum and german is here with them okay um we can yeah, handle it it's uh, our guy sir it's okay, ours, the, sir. uh all right So here's the thing. So um, just to he, let you know, I, yes. I am his supervisor. Okay. Well, you're not a legislator. That's, that, that was the point I'm trying right. to get. It. I understand what you're saying. So not only is he in violation of your guys' policy. He was also in violation of Florida State statute. If I was to park my car there, even if I had a permission slip from somebody, I could still be ticketed because at the end of the day, the judges and the legislators of Florida have deemed that is illegal. So your piece of paper doesn't override legislative administration decisions. So that's what I'm trying to get at is the fact that he constantly parks here. He's been told by Sergeant Walters not to park here yet. You guys are still allowing him to do so and turning a blind eye. And that that is the issue I'm having. I understand so, what you're saying, and thank you so much for bringing it to my attention. Yes. However, we've already explained to you, and you've expressed to me that you also understand the reasons why we have him park here. Okay, but it's not a valid reason. I, well, I understand that you disagree with that. Yeah, that's, that's I don't. It's not me that disagrees with it. It's the Florida state statutes that disagree with it. Like you're not right. a legislator, even if you gave him if you gave him permission to go up and punch Tatum in the face, it's still illegal. Just because right. you said you could do it doesn't make it legal. That's so that's the thing. It, I am it, not it, claiming it, to be a legislator, and I'm not claiming any authority that I don't have. Okay. All right. So then can you have your deputy move his vehicle because he's in violation of the law? See, now we're coming in that full circle area where I've already explained to you, and then you've already expressed that you have knowledge of the reasons why this vehicle... Okay, is but they're not valid reasons. They're unlawful that's, reasons. That's your disagreement, and that's... What it's a, it's the state's now. disagreement. It is an unlawful reason. Okay unlawful that's the thing it's unlawful so i'm asking you guys have him move his vehicle it's illegal for him to park here if not then i will go through i will speak with sergeant walters i will notify him one more time and at the same time i will also push for litigation to disbar him from his leo accreditation you know what that is the best way to go about this how you're doing the paperwork but we're also trying to save you some time because mm -hmm. we're literally not going to move this car all day or tomorrow or the next day this, this is where we want the car you see how we're come fort myers how come fort myers does that fort myers police department when they do that, and I call them out on it, they're like, their captain will actually come out and tell their officer, you need to move your vehicle. I don't work for Fort Myers. I don't know. Okay, but you guys still work for the same state. The same UPS state either. that'll... Huh? It's the same UPS. state... That, so what? I mean, no, as far as UPS, do, do they tell everybody where to park? Absolutely. In fact, we have to park in, 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 in regards to the same law. Florida Statute 316.1945. Okay, they also have a policy for UPS. You guys have to honk your horn prior to going to a house. Not necessarily. It's, not necessarily. It's, it's optional. Okay. But you say, you know, I, I'm, I'm understanding I'm tolerant about the UPS home honking thing. Okay. Right? Yeah. And this is where we're going to park our car because we're the best interest of everybody. So so you're you're saying you're still going to, even though even though it's in violation. I'm being cool about this. No, I'm no, no, I get that. No, but I, I, and, I'm, I'm trying to be cool with you guys. What I want to do is go through Sergeant Walters and handle it that way. Okay. okay. It sounds like but you're doing everything that you, that you want to do uh, paperwork-wise and, and go through 
The thing is, I've already done so. paperwork. The, the next set of paperwork I'm filing is with the state to disbar him from his law enforcement. And on top of that, it's going to attach you guys to it, and then it's going to hold you guys accountable and lead to you guys losing your LEO. Because you guys refuse to... We can cover him on that, because we are willing to take the hit for that. Yeah. So you guys are willing to take the hit for him doing something illegal? We're not, for the safety of the public, we're willing to do anything. All right, so what, what safety of the public, what, what, what does that serve? Exactly what does that serve? Okay, they see an LEO vehicle there. There's about 10 of them over there. There's a several of them over there. There's an administration building right there. There's cops inside there. What, what is this car going to do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, that's so you got, it, it, the logic and is you're flawed. To it, and I appreciate you telling me your opinion, but still, that's just your opinion. Now, there are, it's not there my are opinion. It is literally the law. It is literally the law. This communication has to go both ways. You can I, I agree. I, and what I'm saying is, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. However, the logic behind it does not make any sense. And, and because here, 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 here's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, a judge, a judge, and a legislator has stated that what he is doing is unlawful. And the fact that you guys are willing to cover for it and be like, oh, don't worry about it. He's got permission. It's fine. It's fine. It's for public safety. That's not for public safety. He's parking there. If that's the case, then how come how come there aren't other deputies that park here? Why aren't there other bailiffs that park their vehicles here parked there? Yes, sir, if you have suggestions for police tactics, please, by all means, you can go through the police academy it, it, and apply here to be a really cop simple. Cop. Just obey the law. Okay. Just same, the same, same, same thing. If I was to break the law, those handcuffs would come off. And I'd be arrested, and I'd have to go put in front that's of a judge, the judge, and I'd have to deal again. with the DA. You know, that's all, uh, all the officer discretion. I, I agree. Don't forget about that. No, I get the officer discretion, but at the same time. This has been addressed multiple times by somebody who's higher than him. Yes. Yes, it has. And it's still happening. Because they're still going to do it. And it's going to happen. And they're still going to do it. Yes, sir. Because? Because we're not Fort Myers. We're going to park no, our car there. But you guys are Clay County Sheriff's Office. You guys are better than Fort Myers. Thank you. You guys should be held, held to a higher standard than Fort Myers. You know, that, and that's the thing. And that's why his vehicle is parked there uh, at, at, at our direction. And I agree with it. As a supervisor, I agree with it being there. It provides a presence of officer safety and it's a presence of if someone comes in here with, with a gun or has anticipations of, of doing some kind of violence, yeah, they'll uh, see I'll a be, cop car there and, and maybe they and might you know, be dissuaded if somebody, from if somebody's, of violence. I, I get that, but if somebody has, has come to the and conclusion you know, that they're going to come in there with a gun, they're not going to care if there's a cop car there. They're, they're they not. Might. They might. They're really not. They might. They know that there's bailiffs in there. There's probably armed guards in there. There is G Force or G4S or whatever it's called sure, is right. in there. They're on. They have very slim pickings on how quickly they can get in there and do any damage. This car being here parked illegally is not going to change that. It's not. I mean, I hate to say I, I it, but again, opinion, and I appreciate you telling me your opinion, but I, you disagree with it. Okay. My opinion may be that, but as far as facts go, my factual evidence is the fact that he is illegally parked, and you, you're still going to condone it. You're gonna say yes. you're gonna give a big middle finger to the judge that or in the legislators that put that in there sure. Sir, we've already explained the reasons why it's there and you've already acknowledged you know the reasons. Yes. yes Unless there's anything else any other issues I can help you with today. I believe that's gonna conclude our conversation. Okay. All right All thing we do is come out and try to save you time you know, because again, if you're going to be here all day, have at it, but nobody else is coming out to talk about this. Yeah, well, no, the, what pissed me off was the fact that I sat here for an hour and a half and the supervisor kept putting it off, kept canceling the call. Yeah, no, I spoke with, I, I just spoke with the duty officer about it. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and I was... We've got nothing to do with that. Yeah, no, that's what, that's what really set me off. So the, the attitude is not supposed to be towards you guys. So I do okay. apologize about that. I am trying to maintain a level of professionalism. Okay. I think so too. But, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you. But, like I, I said, I mean, thank you, you too.